Hello, in this video I'll talk about the 2015 OPM data breach. I'll first begin by talking about the background, then I'll talk about the information stolen, and then I'll talk about the breach timeline. So OPM stands for the United States Office of Personal Management, and the breach they had in 2015 impacted 22.1 million people. Some of the information stolen included millions of standard forms, which are 127-page questionnaires for national security positions. And this includes information of friends and family members and contains psychological information. Additionally, information of background checks of current, former, and prospective federal government employees were stolen. Also, military records, addresses, birth dates, health insurance, and much more. And lastly, around 5.6 million sets of fingerprints. So what exactly happened? It all began on April 2013 when the U.S. Investigation Services, USIS, network had malicious activity. And USIS is OPM's contractor who conducts background checks. And the problem is they also had access to OPM servers. So a few months passed, and on November 2013, the hackers given the name X1 breached OPM networks. They were able to get a manual and the IT system architecture information. And on December 2013, X1 breached another OPM contractor called Keypoint. A few months passed, and on March 2014, OPM officials realized they had been breached. X1 did not seal any personal information, so OPM did not publicize the breach. They decided not to kick them out so they could monitor them and to try to understand what they were doing. They were going to kick them out on May 27th, but on May 7, 2014, hackers, a separate group of hackers called X2, used stolen credentials from Keypoint to infiltrate the OPM network and install malware that created a backdoor. This malware was a variant of the Plug X malware that allows remote access for hackers to navigate around OPM systems and compress and take the data. So on May 27, 2014, X1 is removed, but X2 access goes on undetected. And from July to August 2014, X2 stole the background information from OPM. On October 2014, X2 moved from the OPM environment to a Department of Interior server where personal information was stored. And on December 2014, around 4.2 million personal records were stolen. And lastly, on March 2015 was when the fingerprint data was stolen. And this all continued until April 15, 2015, when Finally, a security worker noticed unusual activity in OPM's network. The worker was investigating encrypted secure sockets layer, SSL, traffic on OPM's network. SSL is a standard technology for creating an encrypted link between a server and a client. And he determined there was a beacon link ping connecting to a component on OPM's infrastructure called macutil.dil to a website called OPM's security.org. After further investigation of macutil.dil, it was determined to be hiding the plug X malware and the website was acting as a command and control server for the attackers. So some of the major security problems were that they did not have a two-factor authentication. This could have prevented the hackers X2 to enter the system with the credential of username and password. And this breach has led to an increase of cybersecurity measures. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can email me at carlae.vt.edu. Thank you.